creating a basic animation. Hey there, video marketers. Yes, video marketing is definitely the place you want to be right now, with more video being watched now than any other point in marketing history. Animated videos takes video to the next level, and in many ways it's easier, because you don't need to put your own face on camera or make long videos to grab your audience's attention. And now that you have your hands on VidTune, you can create these animated masterpieces from start to finish in just a few minutes. Today, we're going to show you how to create your first animated project with VidTune. Getting started. Let's start by getting familiar with the animation tools offered by VidTune. The first thing you'll see is the project timeline below the preview screen. There, you're going to insert your video elements, including your backgrounds, characters, and sounds. To insert an element, you can simply drag it from the menu on the right. For example, if you want to insert a background, you will simply have to click on the background of your choice and then to drag it to the timeline. To the right, you'll find the video creation tools. These include the backgrounds, characters, and music. There are also some video creation tools that are unique to VidTune. For example, you can click on the gallery icon to insert an element such as an image to your video. If you want to insert spoken dialogue, you can click on the TTS record icon. VidTune allows you to insert either text to voice software to transform your video scripts into voice using artificial intelligence or to record your own voice clips. Lastly, you can click on the text icon to insert dialogue bubbles into your animations. So, are you ready to create your first VidTune animation? It'll be easier than you imagine, and we're going to show you how. Creating a basic VidTune animation. Using VidTune to create awesome animations is easy and fun. All it takes is an idea, some creativity, and a couple of minutes. Let's go step by step. Let's start by adding a background. For this, simply click on the background icon and drag a background of choice from the sidebar to the timeline. Great job! You can arrange this new background to fit any time on the timeline, and you can also stretch it by clicking and holding the Expand icon. This will help you use the same background for a longer time or at various points during the video. You can create background transitions simply by dragging a different background to the timeline. This is how you can create two more scenes for the same video. Once you insert your backgrounds, you can edit their appearance on screen. Start by stretching the background to fill your required on-screen space. You can fill the entire screen or a portion of the screen. VidTune provides you with all the freedom you need to fit backgrounds and more on a single scene to give your animations a professional, more cinematic feel. Let's now add characters to this animation. For this, click on the Characters icon. Next, select a character from the sidebar and drag it to the timeline. For this example, we're going to use the same character for these two scenes but because we're going to edit them differently for each scene, we're going to insert it once to fit the first background in the timeline and then to fit the second background in the timeline. So, let's now edit the character in the first scene. For this, click on the settings icon. Now, click on the animations menu button and select the animation that you want the character to act out during the first scene. If you want the character to repeat the animation while the scene lasts, check the loop option. You can also select Appear and Disappear animations. Also, if you want to move the character from one point on the screen to another during the scene, check the Move A to B option and position the flag where you want the character to move. In this case, we're going to position the flag at the opposite side of the screen. You can increase or decrease the size of the character by using the stretch icon. Let's now edit the next scene. For this scene, we're going to position the character on point B from the last scene. Next, we're going to click on the settings icon to change the character's animation. And we are going to check the flip option to change the character's orientation. Then, we're going to resize it to make it larger, and so it fills more space in the corner of the screen. Notice how we haven't stretched the background to fill the screen. This is because we're going to position it opposite to the character. As you can see, the animation takes on a whole new context and makes more sense. Let's now click on the music icon to insert a music clip into the timeline. You can add several different clips to fit different scenes, but in this example, we're simply going to stretch this clip in the timeline to use the same music for the entire video. Now we're going to click on the text icon to insert a text bubble in the timeline.
After doing this, click on Settings to input your text to select its background and color, the font, position, size, and animations. Close the Settings window and position it manually on the screen. Lastly, let's click on the TTS Record icon to drag a text-to-speech element to the timeline. What we'll do first is to stretch it so it fits the text in the text bubble. Next, we're going to click on Settings, Input to Text, and to select a voice. And now that the animation is done, you can either click on Save to save it as an editable VidTune project in your computer, or on Export to save it as an MP4 video file that is ready to upload and use. Wrapping up. So that's our gift to you today. As you can see, creating an animated video project with VidTune is one of the easiest things that you can do. So we encourage you to create your very first VidTune project by following the steps we just went through. It'll be as easy as getting familiar with the VidTune program first, toy around with every feature, and let your creativity go wild. Just try as many different things and settings as you wish until you know your way around it confidently. Then follow the steps in this video and create a fun, but coherent animation, something that you are sure others would like enough to pay for. When you finish making a video, share it to the group too. Your videos will not just inspire others to create their own masterpieces, but will also give you a chance to get rewarded in our 14 day giveaway event. So create, post and share your videos, thoughts, comments and experiences. And look out for tomorrow's gift where we'll be showing you how to create the perfect video for Facebook and Instagram adverts easier than you can imagine. I'll see you then.